This is a, a bar snack, but it's a really, really good bar snack. Rendered bacon, and we're kind of going to candy the bacon with cashews, add some spice to it, and it's just an addictive bar snack that you will just go back to and reach for again and again. I like to make this with some really good quality bacon. So here we have some applewood smoke. And this goes with pretty much any cocktail. If you're gonna have, as we would in my house, just some straight bourbon on the rocks, there's nothing better than a little bit of bacon candy that goes with that. The first thing I'm gonna do is render the bacon fat out. Depending on the bacon that you use, though, some will be a little bit fattier than others, so just go by instinct. Don't worry about the recipe too much. Just kind of cook instinctually. The whole tradition is you have salty bar nuts to make you thirsty and make you drink more. The idea was, well, instead of adding salt, why don't we add salt via the form of bacon, right? Because bacon's salty. So that's how it all started. And then, you know, the, the brain starts to go make one step further and say, well, why don't we add curry to it and add spice? And, we serve a lot of bourbon in our bar, so I wanted to do something that really paired nicely with bourbon. Look at that, that's a lot of fat coming out of there. Beautiful, beautiful. So, this is what I do, it's a very simple, I'm gonna take this pan out, collect my fat drippings, and I'm gonna keep about two teaspoons worth. So I wanna keep a little bit of that fat in there. Maybe a little bit more. Go away, go away. All right? I'm going to now very quickly add sugar. I want this sugar just to melt. The actual caramelization part is gonna happen in the oven. I've got my cayenne pepper and I've got my curry. And then I'm going to add my cashews. And a little bit of salt, or actually a lot of salt. A little bit of fresh pepper. We left that bacon fat in the pan. That's now what we're using to coat all the cashews and everything. If it looks a little bit dry to you, as this one does, you can actually come back and add just a touch more bacon fat. Okay, and that's why you don't throw it away right away. You reserve it. All right, now this is ready to pop into our oven. So I've got my pan. It's lined with parchment paper. And I'm gonna take this and any little sort of drippings you have in the pan too. And just kind of spread that evenly. And then we're gonna stick this in the oven. About 350 degrees for about 12 minutes. And it's, it should get nice and crunchy crispy. And I'm actually gonna set a timer on this one. Okay, there we go. Okay, let's check it out. Mmm, looks good, looks good. The bacon's nice and crispy, and you see the cashews have gotten nice and toasted up too. This is gonna cool off a little bit, and then we're gonna just pretty much serve it. So you can cool it off here in your pan, or you can actually just lift the whole thing up. It takes a little bit more of that bacon fat away. And just kind of shake it into your bowl. And actually, I like to serve this just a touch warm. And there you go. Candied bacon, cashew and curry, bar snack, and it's perfect with a cold beer.